fuck is Marshall? Hey. Sorry to keep you ladies waiting. Robert Marshall. Johnny Boy and I work together at the company. Excuse me. You know, I gave you a shot to sit in the back seat, and you didn't take it. Boom. Mm. Ungrateful fuck. Uh, Sorry about that. Marshall here is one of New Bordeaux's finest bounty hunters. Is that a cattle prod? Works every time. Although it does create a hell of a mess when my skips shit themselves. Well, I'll keep that in mind. So what did you learn about Aldridge? Little Birdie told me he's been sniffing around our favorite Cuban bartender, Horatio Balmana. Balmana? Are you sure? Afraid so. If Aldridge is such a big deal, why is he exposing himself over a bartender? Therein lies the question, my dark-skinned compadre. Let's go. Someone was intent on keeping folks inside. Let's get in there. Gee, God damn. No more plantains for me. Hello? Anyone here? That is no. Not Balma. Sick fuck shoots up a birthday party. Aldridge doesn't see the world the way we do. There is no order and there are no rules that he won't break. That's why I had to get away from him. And that life. Are you sure about Marshall? Man seems kind of tilted. Tilted? Now he's... This uh, fella down here is still alive. Oh, wait, no, that's, uh, Frank. Calls alarm, he's dead. Okay, yeah. So maybe he's a little off. <laughs> Fucking Aldridge. We should see if Balmana's upstairs. Over there! God damn. Meet Horatio Balmana. <sighs> Shit. Really? What? It's an Upman. Balmana was a pilot in the Cuban Revolutionary Armed Forces. Back in November 62, the Navy found him and a couple of his pals floating in the Gulf, and they brought him in. Which is where you come in, I suppose. I was already in Nam, but I heard about it. Almana spilled everything he knew about Castro. We planted a news story about the crew being found dead. And that poor bastard ended up here, tending bar. The way this hand's cut up, Aldridge knows what he's doing. He was trying to get Balmana to talk. You all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Yeah! I got him. Oh. Try not to kill this one, Lincoln! Don't let that cocksucker get away. Not a chance. We got some questions for you. You make me chase you like that. Stupid shit. Run. Come here. Oh, 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 Don't kill me, man. Don't kill me. Why the fuck you running? Have you seen you? Fair point. Come on. I got someone who wants to talk to you. 
It's damn good bourbon, huh? Oh, is that enough? Then you're smoking. Goddamn right it is. It's moving up in the world. <clears throat> Who the fuck are you guys? Uh, 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 uh. What's your name? Fernando. La gente me llama. Huh? People call me Chucky. You let people call you Chucky? <laughs> now, why would you? You know, forget. There's a dead man upstairs named Balmana. Yes, yeah, so? So the man we're after is the one who shot the living shit out of this place. What's that got to do with me? You're not too bright. Are you Chucky? Oh, fuck! You're the sole survivor of a goddamn massacre. That's what it's got to do with you. So, tell us what you heard. All right, all right. Dami, the man who came in here, he was asking about a how. A how? Uh, what house? I, I don't know. Balmana refused to say anything, and then he started screaming. Then he gave him a name. Pedro. Pedro Pong. Say it again so I can hear it. Pedro. Pedro Pong. Jesus Christ. And that was oh! it! He, he, he told another man he was with that they need to get the crew to the plane as quickly as possible. That's everything I hear. Oh, my mother! That mean anything to you? Pedro Pond's a code name for a CIA safe house here in the city. Can you keep our pal here on ice back at your place? Sure thing. All right, let's go check out your new digs, princess. Oh. <laughs> Two of you find yourselves in need of sniper support. Hit me up on the radio. Adios, Chucky. Oh. Stand up. No telling what Aldridge is after. We need to get to the safe house. Pedro Pan Safe House is located in an old distillery in the southwest corner of the bayou. All right, let's go. So from the looks of that restaurant, Looks at that restaurant. You trying to get the cops on us? Oh, yeah. Local PD isn't looking too happy. Respond to scene officers engaging with suspect. Respond with caution. All units, negative visual on suspect. Anyhow, so from the looks of that restaurant, Aldridge has some well-trained men working with him. No surprise. Cox. Damn it, I left my cigarettes back at the restaurant. Brother, you need to get yourself some love. Your ass is wound tight. Well, that may be true. The only thing unwinding my ass is a bullet in that motherfucker's head. All right, talk to me. Why the fuck you got such a hard on for this cat? And don't give us fuck shit. Because while all that may be true, there's something else here. You and me, we've been through a lot of shit together. Shit no one else knows about. Oh, the things we've had to do for our country. Oh, fuck you, man. Don't give me the God and country speech. Save that for the goddamn brunts. My point, Lincoln, is that we share a lot of secrets between us. But we also have a lot to keep to ourselves. Never ask the other. This one stays with me. At least for now. Shit. All right. Fuck it. But I ain't promising to let this go for good. Fine.
Safe house should be coming up. We're here. Motherfuck! <sighs> There's a way in that here. It's usually guarded, but under the circumstances, we should be okay. What's the layout of this place? The primary offices are outfitted with a mainframe computer system. Whatever Aldridge is here for, it's likely to be located there. God damn it! See what I did to your friend here. <laughs> you chaos. And are you gonna be the same defiant motherfucker whose brains are gonna rain down on this earth? No. <laughs> Good. Now let's go. God damn it. They're gonna kill every last agent if we don't do something. Then let's go stop. I think they saw. Talk to me, you worthless piece of. Is that a mail room back there? Inspection station. We review every piece of mail leaving and entering the country. How else would we keep an eye on all those commie sympathizers? Yeah. How well? That's all of them for now. yourself an adrenaline shot.
of your miserable life. Looks like the last one. All right, one. Shit. The security door has been engaged. We can get it open. You got it? You got it? But make it snappy. Mind telling me why the CIA needs a compound like this in New Bordeaux? Data sorting, signal traffic decoding, all for the Southeast United States and the Caribbean. So snooping on our enemies and our friends. It's the friends who fuck you the worst. Grab one of those adrenaline shots. Yeah. Where's the fucking safe? There it is. There's no safe. Aldridge! Uh. Welcome to the show, Johnny. Get out of us! You have one last chance. What's it going to be? Don't tell that cocksucker anything. You gotta stand strong. Oh, it's easy for him to say when he's out there, right? <sighs> show me where the safe is before I blow your fucking head off. All right, all right. All right. All right. Oh, you fucking coward! He's gonna kill you regardless! Attaboy. <laughs> How's the hand? How's the face? <sighs> Tell me, who's your colorful friend? I'm the motherfucker who's gonna shove his colorful foot up your ass. Oh, I like him, Johnny. He's a keeper. Just take what you want and go. Jackpot. Fuck! Now what? I'll tell you now what. Come here. What? Oh, just get up. Ah. 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 So long, Johnny. You fucking bastard. I'm gonna fucking kill you, Aldridge. Maybe. Maybe not. We got company. Shit. I'm taking cover. Motherfuckers over here. Today's the day to die. I heard him. These motherfuckers hurt me. I'm gonna drop him. Got him. Find out what Aldridge was after. There's gotta be a key card around here somewhere. Check the desks, the bodies, everywhere. <sighs> God damn it. Fuck! Come on! Open, God damn it! Motherfuck! Is he dead? I think he's dead. 
Found the car. Damn it. What'd he take? Surveillance photos, satellite imagery, and asset files from anyone who's come into the country from Cuba over the last 10 years. Fuck. What the hell's this guy after? You know something. I've had my suspicions ever since Chucky said he overheard Aldridge talking about a plane. Balmana and his crew were piloting a plane out of Havana but they weren't looking to defect. They were returning something that didn't belong to them. The CIA codenamed the incident Dvachka, which in Russian means little girl or commie princess or some goddamn thing. Anyway, the plane's cargo was part of a Russian R-12 theater ballistic missile. Which part are we talking about? The thermonuclear warhead part. Well, this shit just got a hell of a lot more interesting. A storm took the plane down mid-flight. Balmana and his crew bailed. After 12 months of searching, the CIA considered Dvachka lost at sea. Nothing to be done about it. Unless it wasn't lost at sea. Unless, right, unless it wasn't. If Aldridge gets his hands on this, there's no telling what he'll do. All right. So if Aldridge took the files and surveillance photos to track this thing down, then we need another way to find it. What about Balmana's crew? If we could track down another one of the assholes that was on that flight, they may be able to tell us what we need to know. The mainframe's connected to a network that should allow us to patch in and access Balmana's files. Okay. We got it. It was a four-man crew on the plane. Uh-huh. Two of them managed to make it back to Havana. But Balmana and a man by the name of Ruben Paez came to the States. Where's Paez now? Looks like the CIA got him a job as a janitor at a department store. In Frisco Fields. There's no way Aldridge leaves a loose end like that kicking around. The poor bastard's on his way out, he doesn't even know it. Then I guess we better get to Paez before Aldridge does. Aldridge, when did you first meet him? June, 1954. We went into Guatemala as part of PB Success, and then we went our separate ways and ran into each other again in Vietnam. Well, according to these reports, uh, Mr. Aldridge was very successful in infiltrating the NBA. So successful, in fact, he cultivated several contacts that became double agents. That's one way of putting it. And how would you put it? Let's just say you shouldn't believe everything you read. I can type up some bullshit on fancy letterhead. Doesn't change the fact that it's bullshit. Mr. Donovan, did you or did you not have contact with Connor Aldridge in the summer of 1968 in New Bordeaux? That cocksucker died in an alleyway in Saigon. I'm done talking about him. I need to call this into Langley. Meet me in the French ward, and we'll track down Pius.
Make yourself at home, staff self. The bow and I got it worked out. He's happy with our little side project as long as I can. All we have is a little baby reefer right now.
much blood. Look at all the blood. Over here, you fuck your fuck with me. Fuck you. Someone to get this cash out in the bayou. Sure thing, Cher. Heading your way now. Oh, Better not lose this. What do we okay, have? I'm good to go. Take a look around. Current crops. So, uh, you never said how things shook out with Roxy. You know what? Never mind. All we have is a little baby reefer right now. Give it some time. <laughs> 